Uh, I haven't uh, revisited this project for a while. I was trying to uh, connect the three quarter inch shaft to a half inch, didn't work. Couldn't get it welded straight. Uh, I think my last alternative is, is either to try to turn down one end of this to half inch or I'm going to loosen these two nuts and hopefully it will be loose enough to pull that whole shaft out and put in a half inch shaft. So I think that's what we'll give a try here. Okay, I have both uh, set screws out of both ends. I'm afraid I'm going to bend that really bad. definitely what I did not want to happen. Well, I guess I'll have to rethink this idea now, but I'm thinking I'll have to make some type of a, a connection there and uh, go from there. Well, I thought I'd found something that was going to work for me. Uh, put a couple of these washers together in here, maybe it'll, maybe cut a wood, a... Uh, wood buffer in between but I think I'll be able to get it sent through but uh, looks like I gotta run to town I uh, put my half inch bolts all in a real safe place and I can't, <laughs> can't find them so I'll go from there next time yeah I kind of got set up here for today already got my uh, bolt and uh, in my little clamp down here and uh, when I saw that head off so I can make it fit into my uh, coupler on my uh, DC motor. So we'll see what happens here once we get her sawed off. A 
let that cool down a little bit before I take it and uh, maybe I'll bring my grinder out and kind of grind that off a little bit. And then I'll put it together in my squirrel cage and uh, see how it fits in the motor. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, edge and smooth it up. And then I'm going to put a flat spot on here because I've learned that when I use these uh, couplings on my motors, that uh, it works much better if you have a flat spot in the shaft for that to, uh, to screw down onto. So I'm going to smooth that up a little bit. Using my solar power to run my grinder, of course. Brody, come in. Well, it's not really the flat spot I wanted, but I think it'll work okay. So we're going to give this a try. Okay, it'll fit inside of my motor. Now I'm going to... Uh, secure it to my squirrel cage and just see if it, the weight of that will work all right on my motor and then maybe we'll put a little spray paint on that squirrel cage. My wife's giving me heck about the uh, wind bills I've been making aren't looking very pretty. I think this end here is not quite as bent as bad. the way that's fitting. That kind of makes that sort of hold a little tighter.
Brody, come here. I got all kind of help out here with me today, my retriever. Okay, I went ahead and I got my shaft tightened on there. I'm going to go ahead and insert it in my motor and put the, tighten the set screw. We'll see how true it spins. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty wobbly, but I don't think it's going to spin real fast in the wind, so we'll check it out here once. Yeah, it's going to wobble quite a bit, but that's okay. I think it'll be alright. It'd be nice to be able to just see if it's even going to spin. We do have some wind today. Uh, not a lot of wind, but you can see, see we got that uh, that far. Uh, I'm going to remount it on a board here. I think I'll go ahead and paint it red maybe while I'm at this. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, I want you to all know that I am not colorblind. I just uh, have yellow paint and not red. Really can't have anything from B without it looking a little bit like a bumblebee. So we just had a strong enough breeze that is going to turn a little bit. That's encouraging. Uh, it didn't do it much, and I don't know if I got it on the camera or not, but it did spin a little bit in the wind, and I did not know if it would do that very well or not. Alright, I don't think I got enough color on there yet. Let's see what we can do with it some more. Well, it's got color on it now. It may not be pretty, but it's got color on it. <laughs> 